The Insta360 GO already comes with some of the best accessories available with the new secure pivot mounting system for both the camera unit and the action pod. The sticky mount that attaches to the end of it and also acts as a little stand, the magnet pendant with the new angle adjuster and the hat clip. But let me run you through eight more of the best accessories that you can use to get great footage. And the best news is, is that though the Go 3 maybe won't work with all your previous Go 2 accessories, if you have them, it will with some. I'll leave links in the description if you want to buy any of these. But for now, let me show you them all. First up, let's start with this new quick release mount that fits the GoPro or other standard action camera mounting system. Instead of the screw thread mount that comes with the Go 3, this quick release mount is a hassle-free way of securing your Go 3 camera unit or the action pod to a traditional camera mounting system. You can easily take the camera or the action pod off and put it back on again without messing with the actual mount, making it a really fuss-free way of integrating into any system or individual mounting brackets that you might already have in place. Next, it's the monkey tail mount, which I had previously, and you may have it around too. You can bend it any way you like and wrap it around a variety of objects. It can be used as a selfie stick with a one-handed grip too, because it is so lightweight, highly portable, and easy to fold away and store. Create any shape you want for endless mounting possibilities. The non-slip outer layer has excellent grip to be secured in a number of different ways to a variety of different objects. It really is very flexible in all sorts of ways. One point to note here is that I think this works best when on the move with just the camera unit alone. At full extension with the action pod and the camera in it, I found it a little heavy and it started to drop out of shape a little. I definitely feel it starting to droop. So you need to hold it further up the length of the tail or maybe consider another option. This brings me on to my next accessory that I think you should consider and that's this mini two-in-one tripod. This is an all-in-one selfie stick and tripod combo that folds up small for portability. The legs have a satisfying magnetic mechanism to help them snap back into place and to stop them coming apart and dangling around unhelpfully. The action mount attachment also comes with a locking lever rather than a screw thread just to make it that much easier and quicker to use. There's also a spare in the package. If you think you'll be vlogging and want something other than keeping it in your hand at arm's length and you want to use that selfie screen, this is probably going to be a more comfortable option than the monkey tail mount. But it is something extra to carry around. Having said that, it folds up pretty small and it is easy to slip into your pocket or bag. Next up, I have another that you may have enjoyed getting the most out of your go-to. That's the hand and wrist mount bundle, which can now be adapted to use with the Go 3 if you had the first accessory I talked about, the quick release mount. Now this is great for me when traveling around, moving from place to place, just to have the naked camera handy and available for a quick vlog, or maybe a different angle if you're skateboarding, biking, or wheeling your luggage through an airport, whichever way you use it. It's a great additional way to have the camera unit around and ready to go, in addition to keeping it on the magnet pendant and the hat clip. Next up, if you really want a very secure attachment, let's say you're going canoeing or something like that, consider getting a dedicated chest mount. This is the sort of thing that people can have lying around from other action cameras that you may have bought. Again, the quick release mount is the key to getting the most out of this way of mounting your camera. For the next great accessory that I'm gonna talk about, you're gonna want the pivot mount and to switch your point of view to ultra wide because we're going for a simulated drone shot at the end of a selfie stick, the extended three meter selfie stick for extra height and extension. Go high for the drone cruising shot, either across the landscape or maybe angled down. Maybe even go for 2.7K footage with no horizon leveling to simulate an FPV drone type shot. Or you may want to shorten the extension of the selfie stick for extra control.
here's another sort of accessory you might have around already that could prove very handy in and around the water. This float grip is very easy to use with the quick action mount to keep your naked Go 3 from sinking to the bottom of the pool. Next up is one that I've used with several Insta360 cameras and I think it will work well with the Go 3, especially with their naked camera on the quick release mount controlled remotely by the action pod. And that's this little backpack clip. This works really well secured on clothing or indeed an actual backpack strap if you need something a little bit more secure than the magnet pendant or if you're wearing jackets or maybe carrying a fair bit of gear too that kind of gets in the way of you having it centered here on your chest. It's also great for capturing some different points of view like this. That's my roundup of the eight best accessories that I've used so far with my Go 3. I have some more coming soon, so make sure you come back to see how I get on with those. In the meantime, check out this video and YouTube thinks you'd like this one too. Don't forget to check out my Go 3 playlists and other videos and come back again soon. Laters and have fun out there.